In my previous video, I showed you that a transistor can behave like a closed key when we give a voltage at the base from the power supply. In this video, I am going to show you how to control a transistor with external power source. Transistor can be connected in a circuit like this. If the voltage across base and emitter goes above 0.7 volts, the transistor starts behaving like a closed key. I have given a voltage at the base terminal directly from the power supply positive terminal with the combination of a resistor. If you are confused so far, check out the part 1 of this video series. Now instead of giving voltage directly from the power supply, we can also give voltage from external power source to act like a closed key, like this. Also note that base should always be positive with respect to emitter in case of NPN type transistor. If this external power supply has around 0.7 volts, there is no need of a resistor. But if it has more than 0.7 volts, you need to use a resistor in combination with the power supply. This is the formula for resistor calculation. This circuit arrangement is called common emitter configuration because the common point of connection is on the emitter side of the transistor. Suppose I have a microcontroller, for example Arduino, and a light sensor. Suppose I program the microcontroller in such a way that when sensor sees light, the output pin goes low or zero volt. Whereas when there is no light, the output pin goes high or high volts. If you connect an LED of around 5 volts directly at the output pin, then it will be fine. But suppose you want to control a really big load, suppose an LED of 30 volts. For this, if you connect 30 volt LED directly at the output pin, it will be useless. Then how to drive this big load? For this, let's use a transistor. If you use output pin of the microcontroller as base emitter voltage of a transistor, you will be able to control that big load. In this way, transistors can be used as a switch.